what you see right here is actually a chart, um, a bar chart from, it starts in 1997 and it goes up to really the present day. Um, it, it says 2011, but a lot of this data for 2012, they're probably still crunching that. But, um, but what you can see is clearly, very, very clearly, you can see an upward trend here. And the, the darker bars here actually represent the number of patents that are filed by Korean residents, okay? And you, you can see um, a, a general increase over the years. You, you might, is it okay if I stand up? You don't mind if I stand up or reach over or something here. You can sort of see that it's increasing really rapidly here in the late 90s and early 2000s. It kind of levels off a bit, although it's still increasing and I, I might actually turn to Bumray to explain that, but yeah. uh, I, I would have guessed that maybe that had to do with the economy, but actually it's a, it, there's actually a pretty important point with regard to that. Sure. Uh, I think only uh, maybe until before 2000, uh, not many Korean companies are actually focused on the patent applications. So, uh, but, but they, they're really uh, working on exporting goods and actually it was really successful, but but at, actually, this creates some kind of uh, potential infringement issues, and maybe they had to pay some loyalties to the U.S. companies or other some uh, big, large global companies. So uh, after 2000, I believe my personal view is uh, after 2000, they start to file as many as applications as possible, and it so it rapidly increased up to until 2005. So those five years is really a uh, stiff uh, angle. And and 2005 to 2006, uh, the Korean companies are think about to uh, the quality of the patents because uh, the number of the patents they filed does not uh, reduce the royalties somehow. And, and they realized to we are like that uh, they may need to more focus on the quality of the patent. So, so maybe the number of the pat patent application was actually stayed for a few years, but at that time, the, the foreign filings, the, the blue, blue bar is still increasing uh, in, the, in the meantime rapidly. Mm -hmm. so. And I think it's what, what the important takeaway here is that you see a clear effort on the part of not only the Korean companies, but the government in a way, yeah. um, promoting those companies and, and encouraging those companies and maybe even s subsidizing the companies in a way, I'm not sure, but, mm -hmm. but ensuring that the companies are protecting their technology. And, and usually you don't even get to this point until the companies are innovating. As Bumray mentioned, you know, there was a point in time where Korean companies, they were just making they were making things and they were trying to sell those things overseas in markets and they found that they were getting sued because there were American companies that had already been through that and were now innovating and protecting their, their technology and the Korean companies were finding that they didn't have any protections themselves. But once they started making and once they started producing and started you know, bringing in a, a good revenue stream, they realized that they needed to protect their own markets mm -hmm. and that's what you see here. And as Bumray said, there's sort of a tendency at first to file a patent application on everything and anything. But this is just numbers, and numbers don't always tell the story. Mm -hmm. Clearly, with patents, quality mm -hmm. means more, in most respects, yeah. more than numbers. So what, you, what, what Bumray is saying is here is that while you still see a, a significant number of patents being filed, mm -hmm. which reflect you know, the efforts by you know, the Korean economy and the Korean country itself and companies to innovate and protect, that they're really realizing at this point that they really need to concentrate on quality, not mm -hmm. just quantity.